I was like, dude, I'm not, I don't belong here. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know why I chose this career. It's not for me. I'm obviously too stupid. But I decided, you know what? I did not come this far to give up. Dang it, I'm going to try again. Hey y'all, so today I'm gonna be sharing with y'all how I became a registered nurse. The journey was not easy, but I made it. Last month, I finished my Bachelor's of Registered Nursing with highest honors, yes! I'm so excited that I'm finally done with school. I still get nightmares that I have a test somewhere out there that I haven't studied for. Like I wake up in cold night sweats. Before I begin, I do want to disclose that today's video is sponsored by Bill and Melinda Gates. I am also shook. I was asked to create a video inspired by the annual 2020 letter in which Bill and Melinda Gates reflect on some of the big risks that they took in global health and education over the last two decades with their foundation. They want to encourage us, you and me, to take big risks and swing for the fences and take advantage of those opportunities that could change our lives forever. So in honor of the 2020 annual letter, this video will be themed around the topic of US education, specifically how I became a registered nurse. Choosing to become a nurse was a big risk in and of itself because I didn't have the slightest clue what nursing was. So if you find yourself feeling curious about nursing but you're not really sure what it is that they do, I actually made a day in my life as a night nurse video where I show my 12 hour night shift and everything that it is that I do. So if you want to check out that video, I'll link it down below in the description box. There are so many types of nursing. There's school nursing, hospital nursing, clinic nursing, travel nursing, geriatric, pediatric, emergency, OR, ICU. It is a job that never becomes stale, never becomes boring, never becomes repetitive, and if you ever want to have a different experience, you can just apply for a different job. Now there are multiple paths you can take. You can go to a university, you can go to community college, or you can do an accelerated program. Accelerated programs have prerequisites and nursing school condensed. It's like putting coffee and rock stars and Pepsi and Mentos in a can, shaking it and then releasing the gas. It's pretty intense, but you will be done faster. You could also go to university. I personally didn't take that route just because it was way too freaking expensive, but I highly recommend you check out the nursing program at your local community college college because you'll be saving so much money and it really doesn't matter in the end because you're gonna have the same exact license as everybody else. Everyone has to take the NCLEX and that's all that matters. When you're looking for a college to do your prerequisites, I highly recommend you look for one that offers a cadaver lab. A cadaver lab is a lab full of corpses which are dead bodies that you can study muscles and organs on. I know it sounds really scary um, and I actually told my teacher like, yo, is there any way I can pass this class without touching their bodies? <sighs> no. But I ended up actually really enjoying the experience and I really feel like it really solidified my learning because I was able to see it and touch it. So I graduated high school at 17 and then I went straight to community college. I spoke with an advisor and declared nursing as my major. And I did two years of prerequisites. Prerequisites are classes that you have to take before you can even be considered to apply for the nursing program. I did extensive anatomy and physiology, chemistry, microbiology, statistics, nutrition. Now I'ma just give this disclaimer real quick. If you think nursing prerequisites are classes that you can just, you know, kind of try and get by, No! If you want to get into a nursing program, you need to have good grades and you have to study your butt off. So the grades that you get on the prerequisites dictate how many points you get when you apply to the nursing program. Better grades give you higher points, which increases your possibility of being accepted into the nursing program. Also, if you have CNA experience, that actually increases your points for the application. And this is where I want to give y'all some important advice, so listen up. If you want to become a registered nurse, I highly, 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 highly recommend you work as a CNA. Working as a CNA is going to give you medical experience in general with bedside care, time management. It's also going to get your foot in the door for a nursing job. So I really wish that I had done that so I could have gotten a job a lot easier. 
So, after two years of lots of studying, I finally applied for the nursing program. So I was able to finish all my prerequisites with straight A's, so I did have a 4.0 when I applied. But I just wanna let y'all know, you don't have to have a 4.0. I had to wait like three months until I got a response. You know that one scene in SpongeBob where he's so anxious, he starts eating like a box of his own arms? Yeah, that's kind of how it feels like. And alas, after three months of strenuous and anxious waiting, I got my letter and I got accepted on my first try. And y'all, I broke down crying. I was shaking, quaking, quacking. I thought I had finished the most difficult part, which was getting into nursing school. But boy, oh boy, was I freaking wrong. I had a 4.0 for four years and nursing school broke that. I actually got a C on my first test and I cried. <laughs> you might be wondering why I was crying over a C grade and that is because C is actually considered failing in nursing school. And if you get a C in a class, you are held back an entire quarter. You cannot just retake that class. So yeah, getting a C, that's a big deal. I was like, dude, I'm not, I don't belong here. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know why I chose this career. It's not for me. I'm obviously too stupid, but I just wanna let you know that that's completely normal to feel. Nursing is not easy and it's going to push you. If you find yourself feeling discouraged, just remember you are not stupid. You are not dumb. You just have to learn how you learn. Some people are more visual. Some people are more physical. Some people are more social. Learn how you learn and apply that in your study methods. Nursing classes are not about memorizing things. It's about genuinely understanding and being able to apply the concepts. So I had to completely change up the way that I was studying. For studying, I highly recommend Quizlet flashcards. YouTube also has some amazing videos. If you're learning about a certain topic in school, just go to YouTube, type it in, and you're gonna find a bunch of lectures on that topic, and it helped me a lot. Take notes during lecture. Notes were my saving grace. I would take them home and go over them a bunch of times. Also, consider joining a study group. I had a handful of friends where we all exchanged notes and lectures, and it was a lifesaver. So the nursing program that I did was two years long. My nursing program was very intensive. We had a test every single week and the majority of it was pathophysiology, lab practice, trach skills, tube skills, IV skills, needle skills. We got to practice on mannequins. Don't call them dummies because some teachers get very offended by that. Don't call the patient a dummy. His name is Mr. Mannequin. Okay. We also had to practice on each other. Yes, that includes needle skills. My friend did a subdermal injection on me and made me bleed. It was very painful. So thank you for that, Max. My program also had amazing clinical placements. I was able to get experience in so many places. Pre-op, OR, post-op, children's hospital, medical surgical, cardiac, as well as a mental health facility. Another really big tip I wanna share is to make connections at these clinical sites. Really bond with your preceptors so they can get to know you and you can use them as a reference in the future. I was able to get my first job because I used two preceptors as my references. So definitely bond with your preceptors. So after two years of pathophysiology, clinicals, weekly papers, weekly tests, and lots and lots of crying, I finally graduated nursing school and with highest honors. The amount of accomplishments I felt when I graduated, y'all, like, I can't even describe it. Four years of grueling a study so I could apply for the NCLEX. That's right, more studying. <laughs> So finishing nursing school does not make you a nurse. You need to apply for the NCLEX, which is the board exam to be given a license. So I studied for about three months, took the NCLEX and um, failed. I'm not joking. <laughs> I literally failed. <laughs> surprise, surprise, cried. And I called Martin, my husband. I was like, oh my God, like, I can't believe this. I spent four of my years studying for this. I'm such an idiot. I knew that I chose the wrong career. I shouldn't have done this. I felt so useless, dumb. I was so heartbroken. But I decided, you know what? I did not come this far to give up. Dang it, I'm going to try again. 
Okay, well this is what had happened. Turns out, the reason I failed, everybody else was using a program called UWorld when I was using something else. And everyone that used UWorld freaking passed. I was so pissed when I found out. I was like, dang, y'all are fake. Y'all didn't even tell me about UWorld. I'm over here with some bootleg program that I thought was good. So I studied for my second NCLEX with UWorld. I did 100 questions a day. And with the questions that I got wrong, I would do additional studying. And I passed! I was feeling so good. Good, y'all, I was so proud of myself. But my journey was not yet over. The standard for nurses is getting higher and higher every single year. So in the state that I live in, Washington State, nurses are required to have bachelor's degrees if they want to work in a hospital. Luckily, I had done a transfer degree at community college. So all those credits moved over to my local university, Washington State University. And I did the online RN to BSN program to get my bachelor's degree, which I finished last month. Also, I just got my first job. I'm gonna be in pediatric home health for medically fragile children and I start next week and y'all I'm so excited and that is it folks five and a half years taking my bachelor's degree of registered nursing nursing is hard it is not easy but it is such an amazing needed and fulfilling job so if you have it in your heart to want to be a nurse I say go for it all right, Rio, so that is my journey on how I became a bachelor's registered nurse. Let me know down below if nursing is something that you're interested in, that you want to become, or something that you want me to talk more about on this channel. And again, thank you to Bill and Melinda Gates for sponsoring this video. Please check out their 2020 annual letter. They also talk about the big risks that they're going to continue to take in the next two decades with climate and gender equality. Take big risks. Swing for the fences. Take advantage of those opportunities that could change your life forever. Thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day. Bye!